Residents on Cleveland's west side say vacant homes are jeopardizing the safety of school children. They say City Hall has made plenty of promises to tear the homes down, but still no action. So they turn to Five on Your Side troubleshooter Joe Pakanakis. Leon Lee, vacant and condemned homes are a big problem right here in the city of Cleveland and other Northeast Ohio cities. But if you want action from City Hall, you have to be diligent and consistently follow up. The speed limit warning signs are flashing once again on West 46th Street in Cleveland. School is back in session, but this condemned home right across the street from the newly renovated Thomas Jefferson School is still standing. And neighbors like William Wright are worried about the safety of their children. My kids play in, in that lot all, all the time. They come out of there with scratches and scrapes. So I, it's hard to keep them out of there. Five on your side first reported on the potential hazards at this house back in June. At that time, Cleveland Councilman Brian Cummins promised it would be torn down before the start of the school year. This property was reported over a year ago. Actually, the house has been on the demolition list for 20 months. Five on your side has now challenged Councilman Cummins to stimulate action from the Department of Building and housing to get the job done within two weeks. Now, as you can see from the backyard, there has been some progress since our story aired more than two months ago. You can see that the lawn has been cut and much of the potentially hazardous debris removed. However, residents say this project has a long way to go. But when you call the city and you get treated with disrespect, you call the council person and he's making promises he can't keep. Daniel Smith says he and other residents will continue to make noise at Cleveland City Hall until this house is demolished. Five on Your Side is committed to following up on this case and is now working to get this condemned home and 14 others located near Cleveland schools taken down. This house was on the list to be removed. Then they turn around and pull this deal. It's, I don't know, this, it makes no sense. So if you want results from City Hall, neighbors should band together as a group. Consider starting a petition drive that can be submitted to City Council or your mayor's office. Follow up with phone calls, visits to City Hall, and visit City Council meetings. Document your case and keep detailed records on your effort. I have more tips posted right now on Newsnet5.com. On your side, I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis.